Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your top two at the 2023 Flex Pro Italy, the Flex Pro Weekend. Just did a first call out video guys, and uh, just the one picture, and just seen these pictures on Instagram page called Morio Photo, so go over to uh, Morio Photo, follow him on Instagram, awesome pictures, awesome pictures as you can see here. So yeah, we have uh, all of the mandatory shots between these two dudes. And if you're watching the live streams, things of that nature, I think it f does, in fact, favor Nathan Diasha more so. I'll just throw that out there. I'm sure a lot of you guys were watching the video footage and will still click onto this video just to hear my opinion on it, of course. And yeah, I think the front double is a Nathan Diasha pose, whether you look at the pictures or whether you're looking at the video footage and taking nothing away from Regan Grimes, guys. Regan Grimes, I apologize. <laughs> little tongue tied for these. I get a little bit nervous. I always get a little, you know, faction of new viewers. Here's the front lat spread, like I said. And uh, Nathan, I think his tiny little wee waistline, he's been criticized to having high lats, but I think his tiny little wee waistline definitely getting him an edge in this picture. In this picture. But make no mistake about it, guys. And hey, I'm not a Regan Grimes hater. I'll call it like it is. When he does complete the pose, he may look better. But thin skin condition, I think uh, Diasha, Diasha might have this one. But having said that, absolutely, when Regan Grimes does open up like a flower, very impressive. But that's the thing. He seemed to be taking forever to hit the shots. I don't know if that's... Maybe that's how he was practicing. Here's the side chest. Maybe that's how he was pr practicing the poses. But yeah, either which way. Nathan, he, they called for the shot. Boom. He'd go into the shot. Side chest. Now, I, w I will say one thing. I probably missized my previous comparisons between these two dudes. Because Nathan is a lot shorter than... Regan. Either that or Regan was stepping over the line. But I don't think it matters. I think Regan could be even bigger, and it is the softer side of bodybuilding. I think he's a little bit too smooth, man, soon. I don't like to do the, the Jesse Ventura impression anymore. I hear that Will, Will Sosa, I think it is. He does an exact Jesse. Put me in my place. Mine's terrible. Little too smooth is is Regan Grimes here, but I do say Nathan Diasha is peeled inside and out. Ha ha. Now, si side tricep. Not bad, not bad. And again, again, I have to point to that thin skin, Nathan Diasha. No matter how you slice it, I mean, you can judge this. Old school, I mean, if you were looking at a coloring book or something like that, you could see the outer shape, and yeah, this guy's triceps bigger. Regan wins, number one. But as you get into the analyzing of the game of bodybuilding, you can see, you know, you can see right through that skin of Diasha, whether it be the upper body or the, the lower half. But keep in mind... The true test of the conditioning is the back shots. And that's why they say, you know, shows are won from behind. Because if you are holding water, things of that nature, it is going to show from these, these rear shots. And Regan, it is a dwarfing situation. I'll agree. Nathan Diash, a shorter, and he bends at the knees, creating a, a whole lot of height. A whole lot of height for Regan Grimes and thickness in that back condition. He has pipes in the hamstrings. I'll tell you that right now. He has pipes, but that doesn't always mean condition edge. I wouldn't give him a condition edge. When you were looking at the, the video footage, I'm sure a lot of you guys were. Like I said, you could see Diasha glutes when he flexes them. Just more peeled, pizzled. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. He never did. He never, I wonder what he looked like. You can... Here's the rear double. You can Google what Dr. Claw looked like. But I don't buy into that. 
I don't buy into that at all. This is basically the same thing here. Regan Grimes, awesome. He's huge. His condition is pretty good. Pretty good. If you're going to say, okay, who's, who's best conditioned if you're looking up close, things of that nature. Yeah, Regan wins. But this is a situation, guys. This is a situation. Could be one where Regan is stepping the line. They, I believe when you were watching the, the video, they were asking the guys to all go back. And I think it was the rear double in particular that they asked them to, to hit it again. And Regan was taking forever to hit it. He was doing some butterfly flaps and, you know, Diasha was into the pose. He was into the pose soon as they called it. He was holding tight and back for back. It is close. It is close. Both of these guys sport a outstanding back shot. The abs and thigh was the most telling one. Where Regan, he was, he was, you know, he was facing the back, and Nathan, we, he was already hitting the pose. Peeled. Look at that quad. This is exactly what I like to see in an abs and thigh. What Nathan Diash is hitting. Regan, he is good. He's huge. He just needs a little bit more in the abs, like a little bit more in the waistline. And I like how Nathan he holds the quad straight. Regan looks good too. Just a little bit more in the way of conditioning, I do believe, from Nathan Diasha. And in the most muscular, hey, what are you going to say? Nathan, he shouldn't hit, well, I'm not saying he shouldn't hit this one. I apologize. I don't want to upset this Brit. I'm just saying they they should have they should have taken a picture, the other pose there, when he's hitting the other the hands clasped, he looked like he was more shredded and it was obvious more shredded and when you, when it's obvious I don't care how big you are, the little little guy and Nathan's not little by any means necessary, he's probably about five foot nine, I would wager to say five foot eight after a long night of drinking. You know, you're standing up all night, hooting and hollering. You get home after and measure yourself right after you get back. And a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter than you were earlier. Anyway, guys, I got Diasha. And it's not just because I had him in my prediction video. Those are for fun. Those are just guesses. I don't care who you are, whether you're Mark's Max Muscle or Ronnie King Coleman. It doesn't matter. It's a guess. It's a guess. I was saying me and Ronnie because he's so great and I'm not really anything as far as bodybuilding, but to you guys, I might be number one. I might be number one. My mom thinks I'm the coolest guy in the neighborhood. Anyway, guys, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. Probably my older brother. Anyway, guys, hit thumbs up, subscribe. I will definitely let you know who's going to be winning this one. It's a great show. Best show of the year. Arnold Classic was good. Texas was good. This, this is good too. Have a great one, guys.